Hi all, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Europe in Your House 4. We're playing as Poland, going for the Poland Cannon to Space Achievement. Uh, we've had some exciting developments. We've, tech is going up as well, that's what we really care about. But, um, while we've been sort of keeping it e quiet, Lithuania's lo or Denmark's lost their ally with Lithuania. They've also, heck, lost another ally. Um, so, they're basically down to just... Uh, Milan, which I don't really care about. Additionally, their military is basically dead. Sweden's going after them, so it's the perfect time for me, because I've had claims, I have claims on basically every province they own, to go after them. Um, they have no navy, they have virtually no uh, army, so it's, it's about as, as perfect a time as possible. Um, I could fabricate one more claim but it's going to take like a year, and I don't want to do that. So we're actually going to declare war now. Um, I unfortunately can't call into mm. in France because they're in a war and in debt, but I don't really care. Um, we're going to wind up trying to take as much of them as we can. Um, so we're going to declare war. Sweden has wiped most of them out. We're also going to, let's see here, take this fleet and put them here and this fleet and put them here and then we're going to split out two three four five and have them march there and start the invasion Um, and we are also blockading these areas here, so in, the, in effect they can't travel, which is even better. Um, we're going to want to speed down <laughs> before I forget, and then we're going to take three, four, five. We're going to get them moving as soon as possible to to giant uh, come on finish walking guys thank you we'll get that one going and then we'll also land probably over here on um, this army because there's no way to avoid it um, so We're going to get some provinces that are typically pretty good, have some good trade power, good tax base. This is stuff that we really needed. Um, so I'm pretty excited by it. Um, oh, looks like he landed another guy. Okay. Oh, balls. I didn't raise my maintenance. So he has no morale. Um, stay on the ship. Let's get my morale up before I start doing crazy things. Um, let's merge these two together. That was really dumb of me. So we'll give it a turn or two. Now those, that's the Protestant Zealots over there. Well, it works for me. Um, France, how much do you like me? Let's improve relations with you with my other diplomat. This is going to slow down my money situation, but I don't need it as much now that I have the university. Um, come on, another tick. Yeah, I need another tick or two before I get to full maintenance. Um, and these guys are here waiting to come in. So hopefully we'll just be able to harp siege the west, the rest of. Um, these guys pretty quickly. We'll have to go on to Bornholm as well, um, but that'll be a little bit. Another month? Uh, wow, it's slow. Can't believe I forgot about that. I'm glad I didn't go into that battle, though. It would have been horrible. Um, have an army equal or larger than Austria? That's not going to happen. 
England wants military access. Who are you at war with? No one. You can have it. You, that'll make you like me more. <laughs> you want an ally with me, but that's fine. Hans is trying against these Protestants, but that's terrible. You can definitely have military access. Like me as much as you want. Um... Royal marriage from France, sure. One more turn? That's close enough. Transport. And then we'll get ready to get the other army landing as well. The Swedes got there. That's annoying. I guess it's not blockaded for the Swedes, even though I'm there. That's fine. to get as many troops over there as possible. Siege. Let's come down here. And then, there you go. Um, we can get more admin tech. I can build the Glorious Monument. Um, which is good. And we're actually getting close to military tech as well, which will give us new cannons. Exciting. Um, Lone's not happy with me. That's fine. Oh, they had two cannons there. So they had no actual defenses. That's smart. Um, so then let's very quickly... No, I can't detach a siege there. Okay. That's fine. Come on. Quicker. Go quicker. Thank you. You guys go down there. That's where I need you to be. Perfect. We'll get some folks onto Bornholm after that. You can have military access. That's fine. Missions? Nope. I don't want Protector of the Faith, or Defender of the Faith, or whatever it is. I do want some admin buildings, though. There you go. These guys, let's take the transports, move them over here, let's spit off. Take a horse, infantry, 
Horses! We'll take horses. I'll select this unit. Oh! There's, no. That's fine. Um, and we will land you. Good, we are sieging everything we can right now. Because of the Swedes also at war. That's why I had to jump out this war as soon as possible, basically. Um, can I detach... you to go and attack there you go Siege. I'm not going to even need that army. Okay. There we go. So. Oh. And now well, that's sad. Then took things that I wanted. But we should be able to get the rest of it. Or a large portion of it. Um, let's see here. You. Come over there. You. No. Nope. Hitboxes that are too big. I'll lose the money. Um, benign if I will. That's fine. Losing the money sucks, but we're still gaining money at the moment. Not a lot, and <laughs> I would rather <laughs> lose the money than lose the stability. Yes, I have troops in foreign territory. They're running back home. Come on. Mm -hmm. So we can speed it up now. There's not a lot of risk from Denmark at this point. Russia, okay, that's fine. Ah, English Civil War. How good of them. This may give us a way to get at Sweden eventually as well, which would be awesome. Ah, Danish peasants. Okay. Let's get all these guys together and we'll go after the peasants. I'm telling you. Those hitboxes are massive. Do you have a leader? Can I assign you a leader? That's... Wow! My heir has a really good leader. Maneuver. Well, not a big deal, but 126 is not terrible.
Okay. So now we are once again waiting for the sieges to end. I wonder what we're going to be able to get from them. We're not going to get full annexation. Which is sad. But we'll get a decent amount. I'll have them on all treaties with Lithuania. No, that's not a big deal. Excuse me. I do, actually, I've, I think at this point I have every piece of DLC um, for the game. I have a hard time resisting them. <laughs> We're going to get a ton of Denmark. Exactly what we want. I just wish my king would die somehow. He's leading this army that's back here, so it wasn't the smartest way to kill my king off, but it's worth a try. <laughs> a impossible try, but we'll take it. getting closer to military tech as well. We're actually, I mean, tech is surprisingly doing surprisingly well considering um, we've been with terrible, terrible leaders. We're now more than halfway across the board. Um, we're basically in line with our neighbors. Should still be possible. And we're going to dramatically increase our... Um, yeah our situation here. Some good, good buildings. Okay. Let's just unite our armies together. Three provinces to go. Um, I think Conquest of the New World has some interesting stuff, but isn't like... Personally, for me, I haven't found it to be amazingly different. Um, things that I desperately wanted. That said, I think Wealth of Nations, what it adds is interesting. Um, it's good. Uh, it's just a little bit, it's like in the trade system, the trade system in, in my mind is the most complicated. So for a newbie who has only ever played this once or twice, you're not, I think you're not missing too much. That said, get them when you can afford them. Um, I'd get Wealth of Nations first personally, but that's very much me. Um, if you feel like you think it would make more sense to get something else, then that's, you know, entirely up to you. Um, but I, I think Wealth of Nations is the one that adds changes that are more relevant if you're playing a non-expansion game. Um, freezing. I have Aristocratic. I have it all the way. So, people have not been good at taking money from, or, yeah, people aren't really trying to take much from me right now. I got it for the military tech costs, um, and welcome to the channel. got it for the military tech cost negative, that was the main reason, uh, but it's, it, it's worked out pretty well for me, I can't really complain about it. I've stopped taking a lot of ideas once I got the, the two tech cost reductions, there's one over here in Innovative, and one there. Um, I actually haven't even picked up my next free slot, even though I'm, um, I have level 19. I think I'll probably take trade, uh, but I just haven't really made a decision. And to be honest, all the points I have are being dumped into tech as much as possible. Come on, guys, finish your two more so we can take as much territory as possible, basically. The problem with this is going to be it's going to take me a while to um, core these because I don't have the ab points for it, um, but that's fine. Uh, we can bring you back. That's fine. France really likes me. That's good. Um, let's actually send someone over to England. Let's work on that again. Alright, that's my timer, so we're going to have to call, I guess, an end to this episode.
Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Leave a like, subscribe, comment, anything like that. Have a good night.